welcome back to my channel. So today I've created this look and it was with the Game of Thrones eyeshadow palette. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but I tried like my hardest to be like do my hair a little bit like Khaleesi and like I wore white because like I don't have any of the costumes that she wore. Um, but like this is my outfit for being like the mother of dragons, let's just say. This is the look anyway. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, continue watching to see how I got this look. So I'm gonna start off with a new product that I have and it is um, Dr. Feel Good by Benefit. And it is like a skin perfecting balm with the vitamin C and E. Um, it helps mattify, prime and minimize the look of fine lines. So you can use it under your makeup or over your makeup with a sponge that comes with it. Or you can wear it by itself, it's saying. So I'm just gonna go for it. it. Smells really nice. I don't know what the scent is, but it smells beautiful. It doesn't say, but it smells beautiful. Well, it feels really nice. So you see if it lasts. I'm going to conceal my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. set my eyes I'll be taking the Rimmel Stay Matte for foundation I'm going to be using a new foundation that I got I don't know if you can see that but it is Laura Mercier uh, flawless what is it flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation now this is like I'm pretty sure it's a medium to full coverage foundation and I have used it twice now and I actually like it. I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that this is going to be a two part video just because I have used so many new products and it ran much longer than expected. In this lighting I look like an absolute clown. For concealer, I'm going to take Laura Mercier. I don't know if I say her name right. Laura Mercier Concealer. Now it is, again, the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. Again, I've tried this twice. Yeah, twice. Um, and I like it. I chose a little bit darker this time just so it can blend in with my foundation, not like having it too bright, like my Tarte Shape Tape. Just going to be putting a little bit of Laura's translucent powder under my eyes, just only a little bit and then I'll just blend it in. To set my face, I'll be using the MAC Studio Fix powder. For eyebrows, I'll be taking the, I've got, so I've got some new benefit eyebrow products. So I've got the precisely um, my brow pencil and what is it? it just is the ultra fine brow defining pencil. Um, then on top of that, I'll put the gimme brow that I already have. 
um, and then I'll be putting on the 24 hour brow setter on the top to set my brows in place. This is really, really good. Then I also do have the um, high brow, just highlights the brow, which is really nice too. So I recently got my eyebrows done at um, Benefit in the city. And the girl who did my eyebrows was really good. Um, and yeah, she was just saying that this is a really good pencil just to, you know, get the shape. Especially like my arch as well as like my ends because I my ends don't grow. So it's really nice and thin, which is perfect. That way I can slowly build up and get like the perfect shape. And just lightly brush that all in. That's what I love about this. Comes with the spoolie. Spoolie on the end, which is perfect. I'm going with the Gimme Brow just to go over the top of that. The way she like even shaped my eyebrows after I got them waxed was just really nice. Going in with a 24 hour brow setter. Literally what it says is what it is. Like literally eyebrows do not move for 24 hours. I'm not even joking because I've tried it. It's just like a pencil and then all she really told me to do was just go on the lightly go where the brow is and then just blend it in with your finger and it just gives it that nice little like glow don't know if it'll pick it up on camera but it's really nice So for contour slash bronzer, um, I'm going to be trying the new Huda Beauty, what is it, Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. So see how this goes, because this is new, I haven't tried it, it um, came in the mail yesterday. So it says tan and tone, then that is the colour. Now this is fair and it literally looks so dark and I'm like fair. So see how it goes and this is like the second time I'm, been, I'm gonna be trying a cream contour. Um, I've tried it once but like ages ago, like years ago and I can't remember how it went. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try this today and see if I like it or not. I'm kind of nervous because like I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this right. Just see how it goes. It like literally glides onto the skin. Blends out really nice. I think I just don't have the right brushes. Like, especially this one. I think this one is just a bit too big to just buff it. Now, I was gonna get her brushes, but I totally forgot because that would have been perfect because it's double ended and one side is for like carving it out and then buffing it out is the other side, which I've seen. I actually really like this. It's nice. I don't wanna put too much on. I don't know, I just don't want to, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but let me know in the comments. Tell me like any tips and tricks to like put on cream contours. Because like, um, this is like the first time, like last time, I didn't even like, I don't even think I did it myself last time. Um, I think someone put it on me, but 
Give me some tips and tricks to putting on cream contour and like what brushes I should use. I've seen so many techniques. Some people like blend it up. Um, but I don't know, just let me know. Let me know if I'm doing it right. If I'm not doing it right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just sticking to this brush and I think this brush is better to just puff it out. What I've noticed is it's actually like um, taking off my foundation. I don't know if it just doesn't go well with this foundation or I was just being a little bit too rough. Um, hmm. But yeah, other than that it is a nice contour and bronzer but yeah it's just my foundation I can see that it's just come off a little bit and those little patches around just like here same on the, the other side is not too bad I think it's just this side for blush I'll be taking the Tarte Glycerin Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush that's what it is so it's got like a little bit of um, um shimmer in it as well. For highlighter, I'll be taking the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It's one of my favorite. Oh, no! Okay, I was gonna use a new highlighter palette, but I'll just use, I'll just finish off this. So, damn, I totally forgot. It's alright. I was going to use a new highlighter. Um, I've already done this side, but I'll use it on this side. I was lucky enough to get my hands on the Urban Decay and Game of Thrones. Thrones. <laughs> Thrones. Um, highlighter palette, the Mother of Dragons. The detailing in this is insane. And then these are all the shades. They are so beautiful. So they're all, if you don't watch Game of Thrones, these are the three dragon eggs. And literally, oh, it's just so pretty. I love the detail in this. It is so beautiful. But, um,. I'm going to use Viserion, I think that's how you say it, which is this gold, where is it, which is the gold middle one. That's such a gorgeous gold, look at that, it's so blinding. That is so pretty, whoa, very impressive. I haven't used this yet, I've had this for this for a little while but I haven't used it yet because I wanted to record it and see how it was well I'm just gonna put it over the top of this one I can never have too much highlighter this is really bothering me the contour I'm like I can see just where it's taken off my foundation I've tried to fix it, but it's not doing anything. Thanks for watching part one of this video. I'll see you guys in part two. And don't forget to like and subscribe.